Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in crypto and bring on a bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some pretty great news, especially if you're a big uh, proponent of Cardano. So first up, we're going to talk about some Cardano highlights, which uh, Charles Hoskinson came out and just did a brief update uh, where he talks about uh, the new summit that's going to happen. He's going to talk about a new listing that's going to happen. And also, of course, the Alonzo smart contracts. So we'll take a look at that. Also, we'll take a look at uh, th there's three mayors in the United States who are super pro Bitcoin and they share their thoughts. And I got to tell you, uh, I thought uh, all politicians were evil, but apparently not. <laughs> and then lastly, we'll talk about uh, the uh, Golden Ouroboros uh, from Cardano Combat, the NFT giveaway, which we'll be doing uh, right at the very end of this video. So stick around for that. But first, let's take a look at what's going on into the market. So right now, a little bit of a down day. I mean, uh, look, we've been going up for the last, what, 10 days, for two weeks almost. And I told you yesterday, I told you yesterday the same thing I told you last week, which was, it can't go up forever. However, I was wrong last week because it kept going up. But uh, I can just tell you what, what history tells us, and that is that what goes up must come down, and I just can't keep going up forever. So I can't really tell you specifically when, uh, and hint, hint, nobody can, because I don't have a crystal ball, and nobody's Nostradamus, especially not me. But uh, you just have to take the, the bad days with the good. And uh, just think of it this way. Weren't we just talking about how Bitcoin was at 29, 31,000, somewhere around there, and that the whole market was down, but we were feeling pretty hopeful? Now, all of a sudden, it goes up, it shoots up tremendously. We passed the 2 trillion market cap. We were just at 1.28 trillion not too long ago, and now people are like in the dumps. Look, it's not going to be uh, all up, but today, I still think it's a pretty good day. But yeah, we are down a little bit, negative uh, 2%. Bitcoin's at uh, 48,214. Ethereum is at uh, 3,200. It's still pretty good. Cardano is just blowing things up. 280 of 40% for the uh, week and 5% uh, down for the five-day average. But uh, when we talk about so the the big thing, which is the which is what's going to happen tomorrow, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And that's the whole point of the thumbnail. So why don't we just do this? Let's just jump into today's top story and uh, with the Cardano highlights. Oh, actually, first I want to talk about this which was the, uh, <clears throat> the traditional markets. Because I'm always interested to see what's going on. I mean, of course, with our market, crypto and digital assets, but how does it correlate with what's going on in the, in the traditional world? Because uh, as we see, we know that there is a, a lot of overlap between the traditional space and our space. Well, this is from uh, Charlie uh, Baleo. He is, uh, he's always got great stuff. Give him a follow on Twitter. Uh, founder and CEO of Compound Capital Advisors. He's always got the great stats. And uh, he just said, hey, look, today is the first day of, of all time that NASDAQ hit 15,000 or the NASDAQ composite 15,000, August 24th. That's a pretty good indicator. And I was thinking to myself, well, I wonder how, how the rest of the uh, traditional market is. So I always take a look at the S&P 500 and I just kind of scaled it back by five years. And you can see we're like at an all time high for traditional markets as well. So, I mean, if you look at what's going on in the crypto market, what's going on in the uh, traditional space, you can say, yeah, there's a correlation. What I wanna see, and what I think a lot of people are hoping for, is can we uncorrelate from these traditional markets? I don't know if we ever can, because there's so many different big institutions and players coming into this space that it's kinda hard for them not to, because look, what's open 24 seven, 365? Cryptocurrency. All right, so that's what's going on there. Let's jump into it, shall we? So this was a, uh, it was a, a quick or brief update that Charles Hoskinson, the CEO or head guy over there at IOHK, for Cardano, and he just gave uh, a couple of different things. And the first thing was, it's all right here. I'm going to link this this video in the uh, in the uh, description, but I'm just going to give you a quick summary of what's going on. Let me blow this up so you can see what I see. So he talks about dates and announcements. Uh, the first thing he talks about was this, uh, or different listings. And this is what I was, was thinking about might be pretty big for Cardano, which is Cardano is going to be listed on Bitpoint on the 25th of August. I'll get to that in a little bit more detail later. But uh, he also talked about uh, the Cardano Summit. And if you don't know, the Cardano Summit is going to happen on September 
25 and 26 and it's going to be a a mesh of uh, of virtual happenings and actual live in different cities so you can sign up for there it's 100 percent free i'm going to do that myself uh, maybe they'll go to come to puerto rico where i'm at but <laughs> who knows but that'll be interesting and then he also talked about the big thing which was the smart contracts at five minutes and 15 seconds and basically what he, what he said here between the dates and the about the smart contracts alonzo there was two big things that he said one he goes everything's on time he goes so don't worry about that we did he talked about how the audit with quant stamp went uh about a year ago and how they're trying to play not they're not trying to play catch up they've already done the actual audit quant stomp said hey there was a couple things you need to change actually it was very rigorous they did all those changes they went back to quant stamp and said hey uh reevaluate what we just did and they go yeah sure pay us six figures and and, <laughs> and charles is like no so they're looking out for somebody else to actually uh do it but he said that all the different things that quant stamp said for them to change they actually did Another thing that uh, he talked about as far as like the smart contracts is that September 12th is going to be the day and they're going to release uh, the smart contracts. Now everything's going to be on, on a test net first. They're going to run it, run it through, through its paces, but that's pretty much how they do everything there at uh, Cardano just to make things uh, that are safe. And the third thing he said, which I thought was one of the most interesting things, was he said that they're partnering up with a lot of different players in the cryptocurrency space, competitors, he said, and they're trying to work together to bring about some change and some really great things. And I thought to myself, that's fantastic. I've always thought in my small mind was that cryptocurrency can't survive with 10,000 projects. It's just not going to happen. I think what's really going to have to happen is either there's going to be a lot more collaboration or there's going to be a lot more absorption where you're going to see some big type of, of entities uh, like a Cardano, like an Ethereum, like a Chainlink, start to just uh, merge and acquire these other smaller projects and start to become even stronger and stronger. It worked pretty well for the e-commerce space, Amazon, it worked, uh, worked pretty well for the social media space. I mean, depending on who you ask, if you're talking about uh, uh, Facebook and WhatsApp and Instagram and things like that. I think that will be the next wave of what's about to happen. And um, I, for one, am excited. So that was pretty much in a nutshell. He goes over a couple more things uh, again in the video. I'll link it. But those are the big things and the big takeaways for me. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And let's go on to the big story and what the whole uh, thumbnail was built around, which was this. Uh, Cardano is to be launched on the 25th of August and get listed in Japan on this exchange called Bitpoint. Now, I'm not from Japan. Shocker. And I don't know anything about Bitpoint. I try to look up some things. There's different basic information about it. But Bitpoint, and especially just how rigorous, I guess, the exchanges are in Japan, they're a lot more rigorous than some of our exchanges. We'll just say that. And for Cardano to be listed, it's, it's a big deal. But I didn't know how big a deal it was. And it states here that uh, lists such as this aren't constantly uh, occurring. Uh, you've got uh, Cardano is one is now one of the currencies on Japanese exchanges like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And when I took a look at, uh, at Bitpoint, I didn't see a lot of listings. I mean, I saw those Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And then I saw another different article where it says that to get listed on Bitpoint, and this is just hearsay because I'm not from Japan. So correct me, please, in the comment section, if you are from Japan or know a lot of things in Japan, is Bitpoint that big of a deal? Because they were comparing it to like in that region to almost like a Coinbase or a Coinbase effect. If that is true, then uh, Cardano could see quite a big pump tomorrow, the 25th, when it'll be listed on Bitpoint. So again, uh, let me know what you think about that. That could be big, but you have to remember this. Last thing I'll say is <clears throat> these little ups and downs aren't the big play. The big play is what's going to happen in the next year, three years, and five years. So always have that in the back of your mind. This is not investment advice, just investment opinion. I do not care what's happening in the short term. I do not care uh, of all the different FUD articles and things like that. I just see what's going to happen in the future. And uh, I've been doing this I mean, since 2017, just dollar cost averaging. I think that uh, if, we just, if I just stick around for quite a long time, quite a bit of time, uh, I think things will work out. Anyhow, that's it for that piece. Let's finish up with uh, two more, or actually one more snippet, U.S. mayors and Bitcoin, and we'll do the giveaway. So this was, <clears throat> it was an interesting article 
because mayors are politicians too. <laughs> and politicians aren't really much to be trusted with. But uh, hey, if uh, you're speaking my language, I'll listen to you. And this was Mayor Scott Conger, I hope I'm saying right, of the U.S. city of Jackson, Tennessee. And he states, uh, as the feds continue to print more USD, this chart, and he was talking about the Bitcoin chart, will continue to rise. Bitcoin could be the present, could be the present, but is definitely the future monetary system. And F21 million, there isn't any more. This is uh, Scott Conger. So I will link him in the description. I've already followed him. I like that guy's style. I'll stick around, see what he's got to say. And he just references this. But what's more interesting, there's a couple more things. In April, he talked about... Uh, doing a, a payroll conversion for city employees, as well as Bitcoin mining to add Bitcoin to the city's balance sheet. And then in July, he tweeted how the city can accept property tax payments in Bitcoin and allow our employees to DCA in Bitcoin. Totally speaking my language. This guy's talking about, hey, look, we want you to be successful. You are a government employee. Here's what we can set you up with dollar cost average. Maybe they do like a little bit of uh, education snippet, or maybe they just tell them to go to Dan Teacher's Crypto. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is a politician looking out for the betterment of his constituents. And uh, I think that could uh, play out very well. And uh, lastly, to finish up, um, Mayor Jason Stewart of Cool Valley, Missouri, said he's raising funds to give $1,000 in Bitcoin to every resident of the city. Another mayor who sounds like he gets it. And of course, Mayor Francis Suarez for, from Florida. But just so you know, uh, Cool Valley, Missouri has like a, a whopping population of like 1,300 people. And then uh, uh, Conger for uh, Tennessee, where is he? In Jackson, Tennessee. That's like 63,000. So not like it's a, it's a huge amount. And uh, hopefully everybody's safe over there in Tennessee. There's major floodings, but that's awful. But as far as this goes, it's a very, it's a positive step in the right direction, especially, I mean, if you take a look at, and if you work in the mayor's office in any kind of city uh, that you uh, are a resident of, just be aware that there's this thing called a pension crisis. And uh, if you're not from America, we are like in deep in this type of thing. So nearly, let me just read this to you real quick, just as a little snippet. Nearly every state in the United States is facing a pension shortfall States have a combined 4.2 trillion in pension liabilities. These are all types of government employees, different types of employees that just get a pension and live off that for the rest of their lives. But less than 3 trillion in assets set aside to pay for those pensions. Let me do some quick math. 4.2 minus 3, eh, 1.2 trillion dollars. That's a lot of money. So if you're looking for a way potentially to uh, roll this all together, maybe cryptocurrency might be your answer. Again, if you're a mayor, don't come that's just a, just investment uh, opinion. You can do what you want, but uh, it seems like a pretty good deal. All right, so that's it for that. Let's get into the the, uh, the giveaway. I'm gonna make this really quick. So this was for the Golden Ouroboros. Uh, the the uh, the group over at Cardano Comments sent me sent me one and said, "Do what you want with it." I said, "Sure, we'll do a giveaway." I NFTs, right? Whatever. So I just said all you had to do was just uh, pretty much comment and follow me and follow uh, the guys over there at Cardano combat and what i'm going to do so i never liked that whole thing like we put it through a randomizer and we randomly found somebody and their name is joe smo or whatever else i'm like did you really so let's just do this who is this klein vok great first of all did you do did you follow me whoops let me go back follows you great Klein Vault, congratulations, you're a winner. Let me do this, do this. You're a wiener. You're a winner. DM me. Okay, and that's it. So congratulations to uh, Klein Valk. He apparently is the winner. And as you can probably see, just randomized it. And uh, that's what we got to today. So look, uh, that is it for today. If you like today's video and you found a little value, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't win, so they probably like thumbs down, but you know, hey, whatever. Uh, also, if you like this type of comment where you listen to the things that are happening right now that could help you get into the crypto market and maybe make some moves, consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.